Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Laravel 7 video tutorial, we will learn about the HTTP request methods in the Laravel. So first of all, I'm just going to show you the points of the video. So we will see that what is the HTTP request, how we can send a get request, how we can send the post request, and some important methods, uh, or you can say that the HTTP helper methods in the Laravel. So first question is that what is the HTTP request? So guys, when you just want to access anything on a web that means you are sending a http request all right so uh for the more detail we will understand with the get and the post request so how we can send the post request so when you just hit any page on the web that means this is a get request for example there is a, i'm just going to refresh it and now you can see that there are three requests here all right so if you just want to check that these all are the get request this one is also get request and this one is also the get request all right because when you are one you want you just want to access any page it will automatically you are just getting something that means this is a get request and when you just submit any data from your form then it will be a post request so now let's see that how we can make a post request for the post request we must need a simple html form and or you can just send it by the API but in this video we will use the as a simple HTML form and this will be a very quick form so if you just want to for a get into the details of the HTML form in the Laravel then you can watch our previous video link is given in the description box so now for uh, first of all let's make a HTML form and for that we need a view file so just write here user dot blade dot blade.php file right and just make a simple form here like this and let's uh, decide the action so my action should be uh, user controller right and method we will decide here method so for the method I'm just going to use here post method because we need a post request now and let's put some uh, inputs like uh, Mm, name can be address or anything else or uh, secondly I need a CSRF token so I'm just going to use CSRF uh, underscore field and this is a function we must have to use the at the rate and at the last let's take a button also and just write here post uh, post request right and let's make the name of it send post request and button should be the type of submit just write here submit All right so our form is ready so after the form I must need a controller so that I'm just going to write a command for a user controller and you can see that we got a controller inside the app inside the HTTP inside the middleware let's refresh it um, let's see this is our form and I'm just going to make a method here like function index and uh, just echo here something like hello controller All right so controller is also ready and uh, now we just need a router just open the web.php file for it and uh, just try the two router one for the controller and one for the view and just write here post because we need a post method and it will it will be user controller and this method should be matched with the, uh, this uh, action should be matched with your post URL alright and just put here users controller at the rate your function name so my function name is index for now perfect and uh, now let's make one more route for the view just write here view and we can access it on the user and our um view name is also user right so just choose like this 
now let's try to access this method on the user so just try to call it user it will be user not users all right so we got her form simple here right so now we have everything now let's check that is it sending the post request or not so just write here some address like noida and just send it okay so we got some uh, issue i think i just misspelled something here so just copy it and paste it for a very quickly right now it should be fine so now let's send the request again uh, select the noida and just that's it now you can see that we got a request and this the request method is a post request so now we can send the post request so now you get the the start uh, starting initially three points now let's see that some important helper methods name of the http all right so let's say you just want to go uh, what data you are just sending from the html form, form you just want to get it so, so how you can get it for that just go here and in the uh, index method just take your request class and the method of the request class type is req and let's return it simply here dollar req and input right so if you just use this method and return it then it will give you the all values right so we got we must we got here two values one okay mm -mm, yep so we have to send it again now you can see that we got the two thing with the address and the token also right so because we have a uh, only two fields so let's say if we just want to get add one more field then we can get three field also like email and let's refresh it send it to noida and at the email address send some fake email and try to run it now you are still getting the old data so let's say you just want to get here the path from where you are just getting the old data for that you can just simply comment it out and just echo here or you can also return but echo is also in a fold request and let's make a path then it will just tell you the path this is a user controller all right so now uh, let's say you just want to get the url from where you are just sending the request right so just write here url and let's refresh it now you can see that the complete url also so let's say you just want to know the method is it a get method or a post method so just you have to write here method and this is basically a post method that's why we are using the ports post right so let's say you just want to get only a single field here not all field then you can just put here name like address only then you can just send it like here and it will just return a only single field so uh, now one more question is is it possible that we can send the get data from the method also yes if you just put the method name get then basically you will get the old data as an get method let's see but for that you must have to write uh, get otherwise it will give you an error because we are sending the get request so now let's select noida and some data also here and let's try to submit it now you can see that we got a get request but all data is coming with your uh, URL query parameters alright so how you can get the old query parameters also so for that you just have to write here query and just make it blank and now you can see that you got the old data from the query params also alright so these are some important methods and uh, now let's see what request you are getting here so it should be get request let's see now you can see that this is a get request so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care